How long is this post-injection monitoring expected to last? And is it going to be largely remote and automated or on-site for decades? There is no dedicated time, like let's say 50, 30 years after the end to monitor. It is a responsibility of the company, the operator, to prove the stability of the plume. They monitor, they take snapshots with geophysics and they see it has moved a little bit because after you stop injection, it will keep on moving for some time. But Nobody knows that. Basically, what we need to have in mind is the following. Prinos, for example, is a closed system. If we stop injecting CO2 today, the CO2 will still keep moving very slowly. So the question is, uh, is a dangerous situation being developed over time or not? MMV is trying to collect information for that. There are techniques which use fiber optics, which can at any time, real time, at any depth, measure what is the concentration of CO2. If there is a huge deviation, something is completely wrong and you need to revisit the whole project. However, there are also operations which cannot be kept uh, distant. For example, geophysical surveying. One of the methods to understand where is my CO2? Where has it migrated? People are will be working on a hybrid mode. Some remote information and some operations that will be taken on site.